Hello everyone, Steve here with another unboxing video. This time it's a game from the 1970s that I just bought on eBay. So uh, without further ado, let's open the box. So I think this box was shipped from Canada and Seemed like it came like super fast. I think it might have been shipped by UPS. I'm not sure. Uh, just what we need is more plastic bags in this house. But so be it. Yes, here we go. Long ball. So this box appears to be. Oh, maybe 14, 15 inches long and maybe 12 inches wide. And the box is pretty beat up, but actually I think that's a good sign because maybe the game was, was played. Um, I feel lucky because uh, I now own the most realistic baseball game this side of home plate with three exclamation points. Actually, I'm going to do a video at some point about the, the marketing claims of various Sims, but we'll hold that for later. Uh, it says a game can be played in 25 minutes, and it says 1,100 current Major League players, including rookies. That's a lot of players. Um, although this this game is uh, the 19... 79 version, I believe, uh, which had the 1978 season uh, stats uh, to support the, uh, the cards. Uh, I qualify that, though, because it's possible that this is the 1980 version with the 1979 stats, and, and, and that, that may be more accurate. I'll put in the description which it is, and I apologize uh, it's early in the morning. I just can't quite remember the distinction. Actually, with long ball, that's a very important point. Uh, long ball would issue the game each year. I think the first year might have been 1974. And the rosters that they used were uh, the rosters that they expected to be the rosters in 1974. Uh, the underlying stats, at least for the most part, were 1973 uh, stats. Um, but it creates a little confusion, um, you know, when you're trying to understand which, which, which version you have. And I think they maybe even tried to include rookies and, and include um, projected stats in some cases. Um, there's a, a long, ball, long Ball Facebook page, which I can put the, the link to in the, in the description, where we talk a, a lot about that and we talk about the different versions. I also have a different video, which is um, the, uh, the video about where I actually reverse engineered this game, the 1974 version of the game, and can now create cards for, for the game. Uh, the one thing that makes this uh, game different is that... Um, this particular version, which I'm looking at, and I did not look at this in advance, but I've seen seen examples. This particular version of the game did not have player cards. It had, well, it did and it didn't. It had roster sheets. So here you have the Red Sox. And then for each player or pitcher, um, they had a reference to a standard um, card that uh, would have their um, generic stats on it. So uh, in the case of the hitters, there's a reference to a standard hitter card, uh, which I think went all the way up to 15, which was Fred Lynn, which is indicative of his good batting average. And then there was a pitcher card, uh, which, which is right here. It looks like maybe it goes up to 10. And um, then also 
it's another easy way to have a pitcher hitting card as well. And it looks like they all use number three, which is actually pretty low. And given that this is the American League in the 70s, they're already using the designated hitter. Um, so what they would have is all these codes, which would allow them to customize the, the characteristics of the players. And I don't know how these codes worked. I, I obviously didn't open the game ahead of time, and I, I've done limited research on this particular version of the game. But one thing you can see is that they have a, a power number, and it looks like um, it varies uh, between P, N, and W. Uh, I imagine W is weak. Uh, it looks like Jim Rice must be very powerful because he's got double P. And then there's other indications about whether or not they, uh, it looks like whether or not they can hit into double plays or, or, or what have you. Um, I actually found a file before this on Tabletop Sports um, that gives you a rating guide as to how to assign these particular ratings. Um, you know, in case of pitchers, which I know a little bit more about from my earlier work, there are four grades, uh, one being the best and four being the worst. And these grades will influence certain of the results on the result board. And it looks like they introduced endurance factors that they didn't have before. And then the pitching styles, the J and the K, I know are strikeout indicators, extra strikeouts, Y, I don't know what that is. G will allow a pitcher to limit the home runs. And CO is control. Uh, the earlier game also had a wild rating. Uh, maybe that still exists, but um, it looks like here, maybe there's a WP rating instead of, instead of the wild rating. And then of course there's fielding ratings and, and um, speed ratings, which is a combination of uh, running and base stealing. So, um, Slow, fast, it looks like is is the main indication. Oh, and then like the earlier game, there there's an M for medium. So I didn't mean for this to be a, a, a tutorial about the game, but uh, it's kind of interesting. So it looks like these items are the original uh, things for playing the game. Apologize here, but. The game comes with team error cards, which I have no idea how those work. Um, somebody has written on them. But here, you, here's an example of the pitcher rating card, um, which, you know, as I said, goes maybe from one, 1 to 10 or something like that. And then the hitting cards, which looks like actually they go all the way up maybe to 25. I don't know. Um, so from what I've read, these cards basically vary by batting average. And then each card has some extra things on it, which help uh, further define uh, when, when things happen. I don't really recognize all, all these codes, although maybe this W means, um, I don't know, maybe, who knows? Um, it's either a walk or the weak, weak power. Actually, yeah, this seven is a home run and um, it's possible the W and the N turn this into another hit uh, and only the power hitters get, get, a, get a home run here. So we'll see. Um, I'm not sure what this card is. Oh, injury factor card. So um, the game does include injuries or you know usage limitations. Um, so here you have um, base runners. I assume I'm quite disappointed here in that they only provided one of the original D8 dice. The one interesting thing about how Long Ball does this is their D8 dice went from zero to seven. 
instead of one to eight. And so as a result, the, the results on the cards go from um, zero, zero to 77. So um, I am going to speed this up a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna belabor the point here, but these are the result boards. And what you have is down the side is the on-base situations. And across the top, you have numbers for the result numbers. Sorry, you can't see this very well. Um, and then what you see starting on roll number nine, eight actually, is that um, depending on the picture grade, certain results will be modified. So uh, I see here, well, I don't know what the best example is, but um, yeah, so number 10 up here in the corner. So it defaults to a single, but if it's a number three pitcher, it's a strikeout. And it's just a way for them to customize the results by pitching grade. It looks like we have an original score sheet, which is pretty cool, which also allows you to highlight the ratings that are applicable to your batter or pitcher. It looks like we have some um, Notations here, ex explanation of symbols, further explanation. Oh, so here we see Timothy Ashburn was the president. And that is new information, which we did not have in the past. Uh, Ashburn Industries. So um, I think different people have owned, owned this game over time. But um, yeah, interesting stuff. And then what we have here, hopefully, is the field. Yeah, so that's probably what the markers were used for. And pretty typical, it's just cardboard. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess they just have a filler at the bottom of the box. No Van Gogh painting hidden underneath or anything like that. So um, that's really it. Uh, I will possibly do another video talking about these cards. I really am not sure. I would encourage you all to go to the Facebook page. And um, thanks for watching. Please like uh, or comment uh, if, uh, if you found this interesting. And if you know anything about this game or if I've gotten anything wrong, let me know. Thanks. Bye.